what's the point of the queendom? What are we here for? What I want to do is to empower the next generation. And the best way to do that is to start by new life. If we're able to talk into, to bring up, and to strengthen, and to give the best to new life, then we're able to create a new world. Well, how are we going to talk into new life? The cradle of new life is the woman. The woman is able to hold, to feel, to speak into, to nurture and create a whole new world through one little person. You see, if the child is able to have a good nutrition, they have the best start. If the child is able to have a strong mental capacity, the world will definitely benefit because a strong mind is what anyone needs to start off a new world. If a child is able to have all that they need at the beginning of their, their life, it will definitely reflect in the end. And so we want to hold hands and take the woman and empower her. We want to give her as much information as we can. And that means coming together with doctors, with lawyers, with financiers, with anybody that will help this woman make informed decisions for herself, for her family, and for the next generation. Now that is what the Queendom is about. Walk with me and let's do this together. Let us bring up the best generation in the next generation. Thank you so much for joining us and I pray that I leave a mark in your life. Yours truly, Kizia. Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another super, super session. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Today, it's my fault, guys. We're 15 minutes late. Um, but I have officially struggled with, um, with media. <laughs> so I'm just trying to put everything together, but I think I've got it. I think I got it. Hi, everyone. Can you see me? Can you hear me? If you can see me and you can hear me both at the same time, just wave. Okay, just pick up your emojis, go into your chat and just pick up, look for one emoji. In fact, don't wave today. Give me a funny emoji. Give me an emoji that, nice, I see that you guys can hear me. I'm on multi-screen, so I'm handling two screens at the same time. And sometimes with technology, you can be having a monologue and talk to yourself for a while. But now that you share your emoji, thank you so much for joining and welcome Karib Busana to this corner of my little holy um, where we empower ourselves. We've learned that the world has shown us that we don't need this massive platform. We can actually just use what we have. And this is enough to, um, to bring up um, a world, a world and a new generation. If we're 10 parents here, those are 10 children and that's um, a whole company <laughs> of people. So I'm just happy that you guys are here and I'm glad to have you in Karibu Sana. Today I got so much feedback from when I sent um, this um, uh, link because everyone was like, ah, the Homa, Kezia Homa, Homa Inatuweza. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, this is a, such an important topic. I'm just glad that we can delve in um, and, you know, um, navigate the corners of, of Homa, cold food. Um, and today I'm joined by nutritionist, super, super counselor. Actually, she's like my mom, you guys, but you know, you know these things. Um, she's um, the guide to this platform and she's going to be walking us through, um, you know, the basics of just managing flu. And I'm also joined, I hope, I hope she's here. I was trying to get her out of um, her runs for um, hospital runs, but um, I looked for a nurse so that she can just, you know, give us the real stuff. 
you know, because we don't want to like assume um, with anything to do with Homa. So um, Lydia, I hope you're here somewhere, but I'll call you at your right time. For now, first, before we get into Homa, guys. So, you know, after you have your baby and that first Homa comes, in fact, usually it starts like, like congested nose and all that baby stuff start, start at like the third or the fourth day. Between the first and the third and the fourth day. So usually when you're holding your infant, like they're doing something, like sometimes the air is too strong or perfume or it's cold or whatever, and you start getting sniffles on your baby. And that's when you start the journey into flus and hormones. And you have to now start understanding, okay, we can get saline drops, we can, you know, we can, you know, decongest the nose by sucking. In African traditions, we usually suck. And now you guys, are you making that face? I can see you through your behind your camera is going oh listen if you're a mom you and you haven't sucked in fact let's let's let me see let me see from my my screen here who has ever sucked home out of their baby's noses where are your hands just go to the comment section and give me hands and show me that please i have been there i have done that ah some of you are not raising your hands have you never passed the sucking phase that means that you haven't struggled really because at some point in the night you're struggling and you're like you know what i need to suck this thing out it needs to be, i don't know she can't breathe you know and we need to get it out so <laughs> luckily these days they've created the ways um that we can actually go through you know this this situation someone says i have never well lucky are you the rest of us had to figure it out after it's in our mouth and we're like oh anyway um out of the gross stuff um really homa is a real topic right now and I think COVID has helped us understand what Homa really is. COVID is like the hugest, like the biggest, like most potent Homa we've had. Um, it, we just to be scared and then now it's just become out of control. And the interesting thing is that we have to practice the same things we would practice normally for a common cold as we would um, with, you know, with COVID, meaning washing hands, protecting your face, keeping distance, etc. So it's not something that is new, but it's just that we've had to, you know, to deal with the flu. Um, and I don't know if uh, you've also experienced this, but during my, when, I, when I had my first baby, uh, we went to the hospital for all sorts of hormones. Oh, now she has a homa in her eyes. Oh, now she, her homa is now in her chest. You know? <laughs> but I'm telling you, when second born comes through, I <laughs> They're like, oh, mom, tapona. <laughs> do you guys do that? Has any of you experienced that? When you're with your second child, you're more conversant with the flu. Like you kind of understand what's going on. And, you know, you, you have a bit of background with, with flu and the baby. Then you know that this is a seven day run. Uh, for me, it was the horror of going to hospital, actually, that just stopped me from going to hospital in general, because you rush there, like, oh, she's sick, you know, and expect them to fix her. But they really can't. In fact, they tell you, oh, are you breastfeeding? Yeah, okay, keep breastfeeding. And you're like, what kind of solution is that? Like, I've been, she's only on breast milk, <laughs> you know? But um, it also goes to show that um, the solutions we have um, are what we need to work with. And uh, most of the solutions that are in the hospital, um, actually, they are reducing their own solution. And uh, now they're not giving, it's very hard to get things out like antibiotics, which even my mom struggles to understand. She's like, no, but just give the child antibiotic, um, you know? But these days, it's so, it's everywhere it's even in the food so they try and reduce you know the medicinal um, um solutions to 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 flu so the truth of the matter is um flu management and you know treatment is really in our hands that's the truth most of the times if you go there with your little baby and you really really insist on something they'll probably give you something because you're really really insisting but there is no solution. They, 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 what they can do is manage the symptoms, um, but there really is no solution. So I've called uh, Lucy on. Lucy, are you with us? Uh, yes, you are. Lucy, hi. I hope you can hear me. I've just pulled you out of nowhere. I'm so sorry about the abrupt call, but <laughs> I needed you on this platform because if we're going to hospitals and they're stuck, they don't have solutions for us, um, then we need to use what God gave us. We need to build our own immunity, correct? We need to, you know, self be self-sufficient and be able to fight uh, hormones, flus and colds and anything in that direction. 
So Lucy, welcome, welcome to my little platform here. Um, I'm so glad to have you and I'm so glad that you took out time to be with us today, even if it was an abrupt call. It's just that I'm dealing with the homa. If you can help me now, <laughs> I'll be so happy. <laughs> Karibu sana, Lucy. Asante, <laughs> asante. Lucy, please tell us a little bit about yourself first before we jump into the conversation on flus and homa. Okay. I, I, I love this queendom place. I'm glad I was invited. No wonder I jumped in so quickly. But this, is, this, this is really my area of, um, of joy because I am a product of uh, natural remedies. Okay. Uh, the, the, what you see now is a product of natural remedies. Um, I am a diet and lifestyle consultant. Okay. I am also a psychologist. Okay. It's perfect. I'll begin with, I'll begin with a small story. All right. About um, um, in the year 2004 there, okay. I was uh, diagnosed with something they called thrombo thrombosis. That was a big name. Long and short of it was I was having issues with the blood circulation in my legs. Okay. So what would happen is uh, by two o'clock, I'd have to go home because I have to raise my feet because they could not find a medication that was able to help me. So um, one day I looked at my bag of medication and I told myself, this cannot be right. And uh, I, I went to see uh, the head cardiologist in this country at that time. And he told me, you know, madam, I like what you're saying, but uh, we don't know what causes this problem. And the only way we know how to manage it is with all the drugs that, that we have given you. You know, I looked at him and I, I thought to myself, he said, they don't know what causes it. He said they, they sit a lot with bus conductors and teachers. So it is about standing, basically. But I was not, I, I, was, I was doing uh, an office work, which did not involve a lot of walking. So I thought, okay, that doesn't sound right. So when I went home, I actually went on my knees and told God, um, I don't think this is right. And I know you are the only one that can give me a solution. And so a few days later, I bumped into someone and she told me, I was telling her my plate, and she told me, you know, I know a woman who has opened a wellness center in, um, in, in um, Runda. Yeah. Uh, you go there, let's, you go see what they can do for you. So I went to this wellness center and uh, i went through a complete colon cleanse i went through a kidney cleanse i went through a lymphatic cleanse i went through a blood cleanse and i was on juices for 10 days vegetable juices and i tell you within the 10 days i almost got rid of my medication but i didn't because i the doctor had said these are not the ones you just get rid of by yourself so uh, after 10 days, I went home. That was in-house. I went home and um, after about a month, I could feel I was completely well. So somehow, uh, clever me, I just got rid of the medication. And um, I had, um, I, I developed the, the desire to tell people that natural remedies work. If you know how to use food, if you know how to use water, if you know how to use the heat, all those things, they are going to cure whatever it is that you have. The only challenge there is, is these things don't work too quickly, yeah. but they do work. So after I was uh, treated, I got well, I, I helped my mom and her uncle also to to get well, they had diabetes and blood pressure. And I tell you, I took out my time and went to the States for studies. And that's where I studied my diet and lifestyle or a wellness 
consultant or coach, whatever you want to call me. That's where I did my studies. So now when I hear you talking like this, I'm feeling so excited. <laughs> because these things work. They work for me. I have been doing this since year 207 and I have seen people and I have heard testimonies of what these things do. Yeah. So we are I am in the right place and I am you excited to, to I'm so excited to, to have you here. <laughs> I'm, I'm really so am. happy to hear this. I'm really happy, especially when I think that young mamas now know that uh, it's not about uh, running to a chemist or running to the doctor to, to yeah. sort you out. There are yeah. a lot of things that you can do yeah. so that you don't get there or to gently take yourself out of that place. That's so correct. I am truly, truly excited. No, I'm so happy. You know, I think when you have the baby, actually, mm -hmm. I don't know what happens, but it's like the whole medical fraternity, mm -hmm. um, subconsciously, whether they know it or not, push you mm -hmm. back into natural food, natural health, natural remedies, because um, they start by teaching you the power of breast milk and what you should be eating in a healthy mm -hmm. diet. And mm -hmm. that's when it starts. And then when your baby starts to eat, Mm -hmm. is when the real education comes in you need to know where your calciums are where your proteins are you know now a woman needs mm -hmm. to start okay mm -hmm. this baby ate malenge what is malenge you know what is this what is that so mm -hmm. i just feel like it's it's almost automatic it's like you have women have to understand this from the ground up when you have especially when you have a baby now it's a must because even when your baby is really really sick mm -hmm. nowadays the, mm -hmm. the the medicine fraternity are not so quick to medicate Mm -hmm. And so they end up pushing you into look for mm -hmm. natural solutions mm -hmm. to manage COVID. The problem now is Ma, we don't have those natural solutions. We don't know what to do. So mm -hmm. the doctors pushed back the wellness onto us. And it's now our time to educate ourselves so that we know what to do. And that's here. why you're here. <laughs> Yay! Tell us what to do. Take it away. <laughs> Take away. Okay. I will begin with a, a Bible verse that is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 6. And it says that knowledge is easy for him that understands. So the most important thing is to understand. Yeah. Because when you understand, then you become knowledgeable. We said we were going to talk about immunity yes. today. Because, see, let us not get to the cold yet. Or let us not, let us not go to the cold. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I want to assume that you have done a lot about food. Yeah. Maybe everybody on this platform knows what How is did the... you know? Were you here on one of our lives when we were doing food and nutrition? <laughs> <laughs> In my sleep, yes. <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> so... Guys, we're going to share with you a live. Uh, um, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to upload them. Okay, so I have, you know, the full live sessions and now we're just going to upload them so that the ones who missed on nutrition are able to catch up. Mm -hmm. um, but we did a whole super live, guys. In fact, I remember that day Safari Com, the network was down. I think we're mm -hmm. doing too well. But mm -hmm. yes, yes, we did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you talk about the immunity, um, I probably, I think you probably know the basics that maybe yeah. your your greatest uh, line of defense is your skin yeah. that is that that is the most important because okay. you it is through the skin that you can allow many other things to 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 get the microbes to get into your uh, blood and so on and so forth and you have many problems and then of course we have the way that your your ears your nose and everything the way god has made them they protect you from a lot of um uh, pathogens and all kinds of things and and even physical injury they they yeah. they are made in such a way that they are taking care to make sure that you're in good health but yeah. one of the things that i have found out um lately or the most important um thing that i would like us to take home is to realize that god has made us so that the body can heal itself the body yeah. has the capacity to to rebuild, to re recreate, to reorganize everything right. that we do. Yeah. And that is what we now are trying to, why we are talking about immunity. Yeah. And this immunity is built in in your blood. The white blood cells, the red blood cells. That is where your immunity um, yeah. is developed. Or that is, 
what God has created, and it may be able to to give you the right nutrients and the right kind of protection. Yeah. Um, the white blood cells, those are your fighters. Yeah. And and what they basically do now, you're, you're talking about Homa, is they will they will quickly go to the area where they feel that there is um, an inflammation from, right. from wherever and uh, they will they will surround whatever it is and and um, try to destroy it use using uh, hydrogen peroxide that's actually what they do they use hydrogen peroxide and they they will die mm -hmm. yes they do they find they it from in your body yes okay i thought hydrogen peroxide is something on the shelf in the store yes it is on the shelves wow you're teaching me but so much that, that's what they create <laughs> They create right. in there to destroy whatever uh, pathogens they have found wherever it is they have found it and then right. what happens is the moment now they 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 kill the pathogens they also die and when they die that is when you now see uh, a swelling or an inflammation yeah. okay. so when you have an inf a swelling it is actually your your white blood cells that have died the bigger it is yeah. it means the, the, the more uh, fight there was in there because when okay. they they are able to trap this they also die that is how god has created us That's okay. so one of the things that um, the other thing that helps uh, us a lot is is the um, hydrochloric acid in your stomach that is also able to destroy a lot of the 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 um, pathogens that will have found their way into your blood and um, when these harmful pathogens get in and they're identified what happens is quickly the white blood cells will increase now to do that which i was talking about so if you if you now think of, about it and um, when you have a cold what basically the body has done is been able to draw all the um, all the pathogens and and collected them somewhere and the body is now trying to expel them That's either right. by sneezing or by yeah. coughing or by air so now you think about um yeah anti what is it called uh, anti cough what is it called i've forgotten now my what? babies are very big anti anti what, one that stops you from coughing oh um there is there is a drug so they used to yeah antihistamine antihistamine who is that uh, correct and, your life thank you and another one that uh, the the um if you are coughing it subdues the cough you know the body is trying to get rid of the pathogens and whatever you've been given is trying to stop the body stop from them coughing it out or, or doing all this. So I'm, I'm so glad that you young ladies, you know these things now. <laughs> You're teaching so this, us. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this, this is, this is, this is your, your immunity. It is in your blood. It is, it has been put there already. But okay. one wow. of the most important things that we need to, to realize is that um, when you have excessive pathogens in the system you will begin to see that the lymph nodes which are on your neck and in your armpit and sometimes in your groin they they, they develop a swelling yeah that tells you that the scouts have gone around and they have brought everything and uh, the body will be looking forward to being able to dispose of these so that they are not just flying around in your blood yeah Ooh, that so is nice. your immunity so yeah. what we are basically saying what you have already learned about uh, the right kind of nutrition and uh, the right kind of um, air, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, just air. Yeah. I've gone to homes where windows are not open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there is not sufficient <laughs> oxygen in this body which is trying to develop some form of immunity. There is not sufficient oxygen. Yeah. And then, Actually, uh, at that point, before you continue, I was just reading the most shocking fact. I had never known this. But the reason why colds are so prominent in the cold season isn't because mm -hmm. it's cold. Because cold is a virus. It has nothing to do with the air. It's mm -hmm. actually because everyone's indoors because they don't want that mm -hmm. cold. And when they're mm -hmm. indoors, they don't open the window. Exactly. So when they're indoors, the spread is wider. I was just mm -hmm. shocked. I was like, but 
kuna nyesha ndio maana kuna homa that they say no. no. <laughs> you are oh, not opening the windows. <laughs> No, and in fact you will never find a cure for homa because that is the body's way of 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 getting rid of the problem. So when you when you are trying to shut the body down and and saying you need to to stop this cold and so on and so forth, allow the body to expel everything expectorant. That's now remember the word it is yes, uh, yes, yes. Yes, you know there is an there is an Anti- antihistamine antihistamine i think I, i think an anti expectorant or whatever they called it but it was for stopping you stopping the baby from coughing yeah. now you, you in imagine. fact it's been banned i think globally um, it has been so banned because and any an expectorant anti yes. those ones they've been banned yes. this doesn't get them Yes because now suddenly somebody now knows that when you have a homa that is a good sign it means yeah. that your body is able to has already trapped the 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 pathogens and is yeah. trying to get rid of them when you are doing yeah. all the the sneezing and wheezing and all those things that's a very good sign so that is not yeah. a problem that is not okay. a thing to take to the hospital unless of course now the child or yourself you're having now other symptoms that um, are taking a li- they are persisting and you see like you know it's not getting better but ideally within 2 3 days homa will usually go yeah wow so, you guys are you seeing that if your child have a, it, does anyone have a homa right now <laughs> i want to see anyone who's dealing currently because i'm sure some of you locked in because the baby have a homa right now Mm. <laughs> and you've left the baby in the sitting room because you've come here like I need to sort this out. If your baby has a homa right now, please put up your hand. <laughs> I want to, when he's dealing with the homa. So am I. My baby actually has uh, two of them have homa, but that we've now learned that is a good thing, right? It's because they were thing. not dealing with the homa, they're actually dealing with the thing that's caused the homa is dealing with the thing. Correct? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, now that's your blood you fighting for you. <laughs> when you have this homa it means your body is 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 putting up a fight and and usually the body will win if all the other things are right next on the queendom live with kezi please that is the open now, windows can you then can you then talk about the elephant in the room because okay so granted my baby's body is fighting yay mm. you know i'm happy mm. but mm. the truth is it's, the whole thing is uncomfortable mara she's not breathing mm. or she's you know she's having a cough it's uncomfortable mm. how do we deal with that then the real elephant now, in the room 